G'day and welcome to the show. Another early morning start for the intrepid hook, line and sinker team. I'm Nick Dyke and this is Andrew Hart. Hardy, we've got a big couple of days. Should be good, Nick. You're taking him to some island getaway somewhere. It sounds fantastic. I've got the sunscreen packed. I'm ready to enjoy some cocktails on the beach. It will be beautiful. Pat the pilots, kick the tyres, the plane's ready to roll. Hook, line and sinker, stick with us. Well, Nick, you have no idea how excited I am. I'm just about ready for my first Alabama slam. Then we might go down to the beach and check out those bikini-clad girls. What do you think? Andrew, I told you it was an island, but it's not Club Med. This is Flinders Island. And we're not here for bikinis, we're here for fishing. Hey, what do you mean, no bikinis? First port of call in the fabulous hook, line and sinker Flinders Island Odyssey is Lady Baron, and our skipper for the day is James Luddington aboard Straight Lady. James, welcome to the show first of all. Nick, it's great to see you over here again. What uh, is on the cards for us today? James, paint uh, us a picture. We're going to run around on the west side of Flinders and we're going to have a look for a few salmon. There's some nice big fish working on some reefs. On the way in, we'll have a look on the bottom and see if we can pick up a snapper. A snapper, that would be nice. We don't mention the S word on this show anymore after we spent about three weeks trying to catch one that didn't do any good. But this is Flinders Island. You never know, James. This is a magnificent looking area. Tell us exactly where we are at the moment. We're in Franklin Sound, Nick, which is the gap between the islands with Bass Strait out to the west of us and the Tasman Sea and the game fishing and the continent itself to the east. So we can fish either way. Good day, James. We look forward to it. That's good. Let's go and do it. Okay, James, well, we're out the back of Chapel Island, famous for its snakes, but we're not looking at snakes at the moment. We're waiting for the birds. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, what we've got here is a couple of big reefs, one in front of us, one behind us, dropping into about 20 metres of water. And we've got huge schools of bait fish which are using the edges of the reef as cover. Behind the bait fish, some big, big salmon. They're not particularly hungry, they're well fed. So what we have to do is to sit here and just watch the birds. The salmon will feed about every hour or so. They'll come up, tack the bait fish down again and gone. So we just sit here quietly, patiently, watch the birds. We've got a concentration of birds on this point, which means the fish have been chasing the bait fish in there. Yep and a second concentration on the other point over here. So we just sit in the middle and wait. It's watching the birds and the waiting game here on Hook, Line and Sinker just at the moment. Well, as James said before, we've been waiting around for the birds to start working and they have, uh, they have started in earnest. We've got fish on the surface, birds working around us. With any luck, we're not too far away from a lovely big fish. Driven the bait fish right. We're both hooked up. Oh, and the these are it? really serious salmon. There he is. And that is the biggest salmon I've ever caught. How big? Six pounds, three kilos. Six pounds, look at the three condition of the kilos. Fish. That shiny. is just fat. It's solid. No wonder they're not hungry. There's plenty of food here. Well, we've just seen Andrew land his monster Flinders Island salmon and it was amazing. As James said before, when the birds started, the fish, bang, they were there and it is extraordinary and pretty much now it seems to have uh, quietened down a bit but these fish take plenty of getting up, I can tell you that, and make sure if you ever get on a salmon like this that you've got your drag set uh, to give them a bit because they are a powerful fish when they get this big. This is magnificent. These are big fish actually. He's up almost on the surface now you can see him slugging around down there there he comes up have a look at that for an australian salmon that is a dead set big fish 
into the net. James, they are, for most of the people, I guess, who are watching the show, they would be saying, you are kidding. That is not a salmon. A lot of the salmon that we get, you know, mainland Tasmanian air is saving except the West Coast, perhaps a sort of that kind of fish. Why are these fish so big? Uh, basically they're mature adults and there is a really a ton of feed out here. That's why the fish are so lazy and you can see the condition of them. He's shining, he's fat and when you clean them they're just full of body fat. Yeah. They're just stuffed full of food so they grow. But that's a lovely fish. Andrew, just exactly what are you doing? Well, Nick, I know that this may look a little uh, a little more at home up the lake somewhere, but uh, well, after we saw those salmon go through that bait and grab those lures, I mean, they'll take a fly, no worries at all. They and may I well think... take a fly, but chances of you stopping them on that are next to zero. What would you like to put on that, Nick? <laughs> what about a night on Chapel Island? So if I can stop a fish on this gear, you spend the night on Chapel Island. And if you can't, you do. You're on. <laughs> Another good fish game. Okay, I'll come around yeah. behind you with the lamp. He, uh, when he hooked it, he took a lot of line. He was jumping out the back. They, they, they go so hard, these salmon, don't they? Oh, beautiful fish. Yeah, it's just straight up and down, like more like a kingfish. Just slugging away down there. This is a bigger one, I think. I'm not going to call that. And usually a salmon will come up. What do you think it might be? Oh, it's either going to be a salmon or a kingfish doing that. Yeah, it's very... It's uh, well done for a salmon. It's a big salmon. It's a salmon, isn't it? Well, what have we got? We thought it was a salmon. It took sort of a skirted trolling lure. But now once we've got it to the boat, it's gone ballistic. And it's uh, very hard to get off the bottom. So maybe we've got ourselves a little yellow tail kingfish. Who knows? Maybe we should get some colour in a minute, but plenty of patience. Yeah. Plenty of patience. Unless it's a foul hook salmon. Uh, I think it's just the salmon that's run deep. Salmon that Salmon that's run deep. Here he comes. Oh, Beautiful fish. It's bigger than the last fish. one. Well, I mean, it's saying something for those salmon when you're actually calling them for kingfish, isn't it? That's right. I didn't expect that fella to stay down like that. He was well down and stayed there all the way. Such stuffing. Fish, look at the size of that. That is just magnificent. Well, I think we'll let this bloke go too. What do they like to eat? They're good fresh, but they are not a fish you want to keep or freeze a lot of them. No, no best eaten the same day or put back. Well, we saw Andrew before and he's looking to try and catch a salmon on the fly. But tis I who has caught the first fish on fly. Unfortunately, it's not a salmon, I have to tell you that. I've got this lovely nine weight fly rod saltwater fly. And if you look down here, you can see my trophy fish. Look at him, a magnificent fighting fish of the South Sea. That is a ras, or a parrot fish as they're most commonly known. And they are everywhere here, not a salmon, but it looks like Andrew might be spending the night over there with the snakes, I reckon. Very good. I just had uh, about a $70 six weight fly line on there, hooked a big salmon, and uh, I'm $70 in the debt. And I'm spending a night on Chapel Island. Those things are just too big for me. Right up, right up, right up. That's it, lovely. Wine, don't let it go slack. Oh! Spat it. Heck. <laughs> oh! 
a big salmon on fly and I have lost it. And that was your chance to make men sleep on Chapel Island. I think it's got something to do with my fashionable sunglasses. That's what I'm blaming it on. Well, after my first little fly rod experience, I had no fly line left, so uh, James gave me the only fly reel left on the boat, and I tell you what, it's a dog. Have a look at it. It's got no drag, no nothing, but it's, oh, but it's got quite a bit more line than my little reel, and uh, we've hooked another nice salmon, probably six or eight pounds on the fly, and I think we might be in for a long fight here. Now what we're doing is just keeping pressure on this fish on a, uh, a 1908 fly reel. They were good in their day, not real good today though. But uh, you just got to keep your rod up and pressure on him. And when he wants to go, you just got to let him go because we've only got a light tippet on here. And we've got a fish of probably, oh, look at that, of probably eight pounds or so. And I mean, you just can't do anything like, they're just, it's like looking at a steam truck, it's, but it's fun. Gain line, gain line. Well, welcome back to the show. And uh, as you can see, we've done a full lap of the boat now. And this fish is still going. And we're, we're probably still a few minutes away from seeing him, but I think he's getting a little bit tighter. I hope he is, fingers crossed. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Well done, Andrew. Oh. Well done. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh boy, that is a big fish. How big, James? Oh, he's another six to eight pounds. Oh, he's, he's more than six pounds. 14 pounds. This is 16 fish. pounds. Have a look at the size of that. You're not getting that reel back. That's coming home with me. How about That's we get going on my desk. Him back? Oh. Fantastic. Well, you're probably groaning in your lounge rooms, but we are at it again. Snapper fishing on hook, line and sinker. But this time we're on Flinders Island. The skipper tells us there's a possibility that we might get a snapper. I know if you watch the last two shows, you'll think we're mad, but that is fishing. We'll give it a go. You just never know. We'd love to show you one. Well, we're fishing today in quite deep water for snapper, about 30 metres here. The rig I'm using is pretty simple. It's just a uh, dropper down to a sinker there, a bit longer one for the hook. We're using pilchards for bait. Ideally, the way to rig a pilchard as they're pretty soft as you go through the tail, push the hook all the way out, then up through the body, just snag it in like that. Hook exposed, half hitch around the tail like so, and you've got a pretty good snapper bait. Drop that down, we're at anchor so we don't need too much lead. The less lead, the better. And you just never know what might be down there in the big blue. This time. Well, here we are on Flinders Island and another fish, and another good fish too. It's not a salmon, we've finished with the salmon and um, before I go and settle in on Chapel Island, James has taken us to one of his favourite snapper spots. And although I don't think this is a snapper, it's a good start. It's something decent. A bit of weight there. You just have to wait and see. It's like a lottery out here. Well, we've got our... <laughs> Don't lift his head out of the water. He's only a little fella. Yeah, tiny. In the tamer, we did not get one you at Bridport. Hold him up, Nick, and tell but us what we is. have come to magnificent Flinders Island, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a snapper. Andrew, but I am moving to Flinders Island. I don't think, uh, as far as I know, I don't think snapper have been caught on television in Tasmanian waters, and that is a big 
Nobby snapper, and they are an absolutely <laughs> magnificent fish. How do you be reasonably pleased with that, wouldn't you? Mate, uh, yeah. You hold just, just a little bit pleased, I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of shaking, actually. You can Look have yourself that. a barbecue on Chapel Island, perhaps. Yes, well, I won't be going hungry, will I? They are a beautiful fish. fish. You can see the blue spots on the big red colour, the knobby head. That is a dead set beautiful fish. Well, I'm happy. Welcome back to the show, day two of our Island Odyssey. And Andrew, we're a little bit further north today and a few exotic species on the menu. Well, let's hope you're not lying. You were telling me last night about the sailfish, the mahi-mahi, and possibly the dog-toothed tuna we may trick today. Yes, actually, we were going out looking for kingfish. Stick with us, it should be good. Well, we're out on the high seas of Flinders Island. Our skipper for today is Mike Nichols aboard the beautiful Bass Pyramid. Mike, my old science teacher, you're now a uh, charter boat skipper. What are we going to catch today? Uh, we'll probably target yellowtail kingfish, and uh, when you go after those, you normally pick up the odd cooter and pike, and uh, maybe we'll do a bit of bottom fishing later and try for flathead and, or gummies and maybe a squid. Now you're also a bit of a, a bit of a diver, you do a bit of diving, what are the chances of you jumping yeah. over the side and finding us a crayfish? Well, we'll see later, we'll see how much time we've got left and <laughs> what we can find. Right on mate, let's head for the horizon and we'll see what we find. Well, no doubt about it, the uh, Parabone, the Smith jig, absolutely working through. This is uh, this is the way the locals do it, and I tell you what, if I can keep him out of the propeller. This is a Flinders Island kingfish, Andrew. You might have your lovely, <laughs> your lovely. We're a pile of lures and whatever, but I do it the way the locals do it. He's only a little fella. Well, the boys have been trolling their uh, tried and proven paravane techniques. And I stuck with a little rapala out there, and it's finally paid off. We've got a kingfish. Not a real big fish, probably only, I don't know, three kilo or so, but uh, a kingfish nevertheless. Now, we've got a... Neck or something? I don't think we have got a net, mate. Got Just it there. Here we go. Rest aboard. Look at that. But... Recording disaster, but that is Flinders Island oh. kingfish. <laughs> a beautiful Flinders Island kingfish. Look at that. Yellow tail, green on top, and they are one of the great fish of the sea. As the sun sinks slowly into the west, that brings to an end our fabulous Flinders Island adventure. What did you think, mate? Nick, unbelievable. I mean, there were no bikinis here, but that's all right. When you're catching, well, nearly 10 pounds salmon, snapper, yellowtail kingfish, I mean, what hasn't this place got? I will be back. Good for you. Thanks again to Island Airlines for flying us here so you can see the action, plus all the sponsors that make the show possible. Thanks again. Until next time on Hook, Line and Sinker, good fishing to you. I don't know if the snake's there. That's pretty good. Snake! Stop! <laughs>